Well, Jeannie, police say Iris Rodin Jr. barricaded himself in his home with firearms Thursday night. Six hours later, he was taken into custody from the Forest Park neighborhood of the Nassau County Development Wildlife. Police tape is down and the wildlife community in Yuli is quiet again after officials say a 49 year old Nassau County Sheriff's deputy barricaded himself in a home during a domestic dispute. The Sheriff's Office says the quote deeply saddening situation started around 10 o'clock Thursday night when a person inside the home called Lieutenant G. Roden to calm down an intoxicated Deputy Iris Ray Roden Jr. It's unclear if the two Sheriff's Office employees who share the same last name are related. According to an arrest warrant, the caller told the Lieutenant Iris Jr. was armed with a pistol and rifle trying to leave the house. When the Lieutenant got to the home, officials say Iris was standing in the garage. He tried to go back inside when the lieutenant arrived, but couldn't because the door was locked. Iris fired his weapon twice in an unknown direction, and the lieutenant left the scene to request backup. Another deputy who responded says Iris fired five shots that went over the top of his patrol car and two more shots at a drone flying over the house. The deputy said he spoke briefly with Iris, who pointed a pistol at him before going back into the garage. The Nassau Sheriff's Special Response Team and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office SWAT Team responded to the lieutenant's call for backup. And Iris was taken into custody without injuries around 5 o'clock Friday morning. The incident prompted Wild Light Elementary School leaders to cancel school for the day before deciding to resume classes when they got the all clear from the Sheriff's Office. In a statement, Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper said in part, quote, I am thankful this incident was resolved peacefully and no one was hurt. Deputies are human and struggle with issues just like many others in our society. There are several programs that the Sheriff's Office offers for our employees in order to get the help that they need and we encourage anyone to reach out if they need it. Tonight, Roden Jr. is being held in the Nassau County Jail without bail and he is suspended from the Sheriff's Office without pay. Reporting live in Yulee, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News on your side.